Welcome to the channel, everybody. Today, MLB The Show 19 has arrived. And I've been wanting to check out this new March to October mode here for the second channel. I'm a franchise guy, and I'll be continuing my Minnesota Twins franchise on my main channel here again on MLB 19. But here on this channel, I want to see what I can do as far as baseball goes, and I think March to October would fit. Now, if you're not familiar with the mode, March to October is kind of a condensed version of franchise, but it revolves around just one season. And it's that team's March to October. You can take any team here, and it's kind of a drop-in, drop-out experience where you play the key moments and key games of a season, and you try to get your team to the playoffs. And I'm guessing that it's a lot harder to take the long shots to the postseason than the favorites. But the team I want to take control of is here in the contender category, and that is going to be the Atlanta Braves. The Braves were a team last season that were a bit of a surprise winning 90 games and winning the NL East. They had a pair of young players really step up, including Ronald Acuna Jr., who was fantastic. And that is the team I'd like to use here in March to October. And maybe I'll do multiple of these or something, but... You can let me know in the comments if this is something you want to see on the channel. It should be a relatively small series. So they have a cool intro for each team when you get into the mode that introduces you to them and kind of their story to this point. I'm not going to show it just because there's a lot of actual MLB footage and I'm not sure if it would get copyright, but I'm not going to uh, risk it. But basically, the Braves were a team that were kind of a, a surprise out of nowhere team a year ago. They had a pair of six game winning streaks in September. They were never below 500. They were a really good all around team and they were a fun team to follow going into the postseason. Now this year, obviously, the NL East should be a little bit more competitive. The Phillies added Bryce Harper. That should be really interesting. But the Braves should be the favorites, in my opinion, to win the division. They were an excellent hitting team last year, a great pitching team as well. This is hard to duplicate though, especially coming off your first year of success in a while. I know I, I'm a Twins fan, they had that surprise postseason run a couple years ago where they lost to the Yankees, and then last year they were bad. But I think the Braves are a much more talented team than them overall. So in March to October, we're going to see a lot more condensed experiences, and in this case, we are jumping into the the sixth inning, and we're hitting with the pitcher right away. All right, Mike fulton in the sixth inning. So, it's kind of like a critical moments, big situation type of deal where you're playing the key games and the key moments, but it's not supposed to take a long time. It might not be for everybody, and I don't think you get roster control in here. But I thought it would at least be interesting to check out and do a little series of because it, it's really condensed and there's a lot of games that are simulated and you're just kind of on this journey and your wins and losses will kind of influence the path that you're on. It's a cool idea. I want to check it out. And I already did start this and then I had to restart it because I realized the Phillies didn't have Bryce Harper. I didn't have the newest roster updated, so had to redo it. I didn't even make it through the sixth inning, though, before I noticed. But anyway, I can't hit with the pitcher. It's not a big deal. Now I got Ender Enciarte. And that is going down the line, and we got extra bases right here. So I know that it's supposed to be better hitting with contact hitters this year, which is good because I feel that a lot of contact hitters in the past were tough to have success with. I have my most success in MLB usually with home run hitters. And the long ball is a big part of my game on MLB 18. Now we have Nick Markakis with a runner in scoring position. I'm playing on Hall of Fame difficulty, by the way. I played All-Star for a while, got better at the game last year. So now I play default Hall of Fame. And you'll notice there's no PCI. I don't really have anything going on here in terms of guest pitch. I like to pretend it's 2003 and just hit X to hit. That's when I played baseball growing up. Obviously, uh, a lot of those older games didn't have like robust features like this. In the show, there are so many ways to pitch, field, and hit. But um, I never adapted to analog hitting very well. I don't do well with aiming 
like the PCI and then swinging. I just want to read the pitch the best I can, hit X when I think it's the right time, and let the player's ratings for the most part take over. You know in sports games, I don't mind letting ratings take over. I play sports games for a simulation feel, and this to me gives me the best feel. So I got Freddie Freeman now with two aboard. Couldn't advance Enciarte on that little blooper. So a chance to take the lead here, perhaps, and get on the board in the opening day game. We'll take that one there. Hopefully this year I can start to lay off some of those low curves and sliders away. What happens is I'll have a couple issues, and then all of a sudden the pitcher's confidence gets maxed out. And then they can't miss their spot anymore, and I just have to deal with it for like four innings until they get too tired to keep going. Josh Donaldson's a brave now, that's right. Didn't have a very good 2018. He was traded mid-season and now hoping to refine his prior form with the Braves. The Braves have a good lineup. If Donaldson is at all what he was, you know, with the Blue Jays during his best years, or even his days with the A's, like, this lineup's going to be only stronger. I like this Braves lineup a lot. And this is a nice uh, way to get to play with them without having to do a huge series that I don't think I have much time for. Come on, Josh. That was early timing. But you can let me know if this is something you want to see me continue. March to October should be a small series that will fit in nicely on the channel and give us a little bit of baseball action. And they're loaded. Aaron Nola has allowed the bases to become loaded for Ronald Acuna Jr. Come on. Give me a good episode one here. I need something good. First video on MLB 19 this year. Base is juiced. I don't swing at those inside pitches all that well. This is not the default camera, by the way. This is Fisheye 2, which is what I believe I use on MLB 18. Looks pretty similar. The default view was just a little bit weird. I don't like the messing with the camera because I get so used to what a slider looks like from this angle. I'm not about to relearn anything. Nope. One and two. I got a swing there. Acuna to right field, and he's retired. Got a couple aboard, and there's Bryce Harper. I'm sure we'll see him pretty soon. And I got Fulton Nevich on the mound still. I'm used to pitching with him. Drag bunt scenario here. Go for it. But I'm used to pitching with Fulton Nevich. He is in my Minnesota Twins franchise, a series I began on MLB 17. And it's a franchise I'll be continuing yet again on MLB 19. That is a lineout. And there he is. Bryce Harper on opening day. And I know his reputation on opening day is quite good. So I'm doing my best to avoid another Harper opening day long ball. Which would be in this, his first ever with the Phillies. So let's not let that happen, Fulton Nevich. Oh boy. Deep right. It's going to hook foul. It's okay. And now we got the 0-2 count. So let's let's get this strikeout, Fulty. Got him right there. It's the slider. Oh, it's, just, it's the first game. You can't let the frustrations out already. I should know how to pitch with Fulty. Now Reese Hoskins. Popped him up down the line. Facing two of their best hitters. We get a couple nice outs. Good job, Fulty. On to the seventh. What do we got now? We lead off with Johan Camargo. Decent contact. Decent power. Ratings remind me a little bit of Byron Buxton in terms of the hitting. Oh, come on. He's loving that curveball right now. I bet I get it here. Two strikes. Nope, we do not. Fastball evens the count. Let's get Albies and this speed aboard. 3-2. Down the middle and lace to right center field. That's what we like to see. Work the count. Get to second. Thought about three. We'll stay right put. 90 pitches now for Nola. I wonder if we could be seeing the end of his day anytime soon. And now the catcher, Tyler Flowers. That's a lot of quirks. All right, two strikes here. Got to be careful. I want to at least advance Albies, although I'm not sure it's that important. A base hit of any kind should score him from second. But we'll advance him to third base. Now we got to get a hit, and with who? 
oh, this ain't going to work for me. Faulty. Ah, oh, American League Baseball is so much easier. Let's go to the bench. Who has the best ability to do this for us here? I think I might go with Charlie Culberson. Yep, we're going to Culberson off the bench. All right, the 29-year-old trying to be an opening day. Well, can't really be a hero in the seventh inning if you're just driving one run, but I need that. Culberson, nope, nope. Late on the inside pitch, popped up. Failed again here in the seventh. Oh, yes, yeah, so Rodas Fizkaino. I also have him in my Twins franchise. He's our closer. So Vizcaino will get the seventh inning for Atlanta. Here's JT Realmuto. Oh, yes, they signed him or traded for him. Those are two serious moves they made. Oh, off the glove of Freeman. Vizcaino to cover. Very close. And we got him. Definitely some different cameras and uh, a different look to some of the fielding. I know that uh, the first line drive I had kind of confused me. Every year it looks like the ball off the bat looks a little bit different. Oh, that's sent into left field, no problem. I'm waiting for the first time I see one of these go off the wall because now they have kind of the predictive bouncing based on that player's ratings. I like that it's based on ratings. I have it on right now to see what it's like. Obviously, it's tough to judge certain caroms, and if you guess wrong, it can really hurt you. Here's Herrera. So, I'll keep it on for now when I'm playing as we get ahead in the count. What do we got here for a good strikeout pitch? They want the fastball. We'll go with it. The heat off the plate. We're going fastball 3-2 right here. Up the middle. It is down. Got to cut that off. And it is going to be a two-out single. Having some issues here. Finding the zone. And it looks like I'm going to see it. Oh, man. That was almost gone. Isn't that predictor, though, kind of uh, a spoiler alert that, hey, it doesn't go yard? Some close plays you're not quite sure about? Didn't think about that. I should have known as soon as I said something, too. I was going to get to see it before you knew it. Uh-oh. Andrew McCutcheon, pinch hitter off the bench at age 32. Come on, Vizcaino. I need this out. McCutcheon fouls off the sinker. Oh, yes. Popped him up. Thank you. Now can we get a run? All right, new pitcher in for Philadelphia, a righty, Sir Anthony Dominguez. Don't think I've ever heard of him. I don't know baseball like I know football, but those numbers were very good. And here we go. It is Inciarte again. I hit the double with him in the last trip down the left field line. Okay, this last pitch was uh, clocked in at 100, so we got some speed here. And that one's low. Hopefully a lot of velocity, but little control, and I can get a couple free bases here or something. He's missed three times in a row using his fastballs. Let's see what he goes. 3-1. Upstairs with the slider. Thank you. Could consider trying to steal here. Ah, the stealing and speed is only okay. I don't normally steal much. I do with, like, Byron Buxton with my twin series, but otherwise I'm always too hesitant. I earn those base runners. How good is JT's arm? I'm actually not sure. Oh, man, a good pitch. Got to catch up a little bit here to this heat. I love to steal 0-2, though, in case they give me a garbage breaking ball in the dirt or something. And we're going to only get a fielder's choice. I'm sure there are some of you that would still like to see Road to the Show on the channel. I'm just not sure how it fits. As Freeman's going to deep left field, it's slicing away, and he'll be down for extra bases. We're not going to send him home. Don't think it would have worked out for us. But now two in scoring position, one down. We got to come through. But I'm sure there are a lot of you that would like to see Road to the Show again. Maybe the return of Jordan Starks. I don't know. 
There wasn't really a lot of interest in it last year. I've been asked the boat road to the show recently. There are some cool things in there that I've liked uh, in the lead up to the show 19's release. But I think that if I do ever get into the road to the show again, I need to incorporate some simulating so I can actually make some more progress. Playing everything isn't all that necessary. And I found that out with like my Browns rebuild and my Cardinals series. Like I don't gotta play everything to have fun. I've never done that though in a player based series. But I think in baseball it's almost a necessity unless it's your main game of choice. I'm a bit surprised they walked him. Because now you gotta deal with Ronald Acuna Jr. and the bases are loaded. One down. We just gotta put this in the outfield. We're gonna influence up, of course, and see if this pitcher is able to find the zone. Oh man, he got me to chase it, the slider away. Oh man, two down. We're not gonna waste this opportunity, are we? I already had, I have three opportunities now with runners in scoring position. Come on, Camargo. We got this inside. I'm probably going to get like uh, an RBI off of either a walk or a hit by pitch. I won't even really earn it hitting. That's what I want. I want a hit. There we go. But I'm late. Hard to catch up to some of that heat. All right, new pitcher for us. We're going Darren O'Day. Oh, I like this uh, delivery here. A little submarine action. Darren O'Day. As in Darren opening day, am I right? Oh, that's up the middle. Tough play and through. All right, so it's telling you below every player kind of their uh, fielding rating, I think. Is that what that silver means? Give me something on the ground right here. There we go. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Not turning to, however. I'm not sure I like the camera being pulled back, though, like this. I would prefer us to have... Uh, I liked the way fielding looked in MLB 18. Maybe there's like a fielding camera option. I'll just have to go back to 18 and see what my old settings were. But now I got to be careful because it's Bryce Harper. And I'm falling behind 0-2. I'm not being careful. Um, I think we just hope for the best and try to hit some corners here or walk them. All right, he's not chasing that. Three and one, Hoskins on deck. What's the catcher want? He wants the fastball away. You got it. Nope, Harper's aboard. The sinker's got to get me a ground ball out. There we go. Big swing and miss from Hoskins. Now I might break out that slider and try to get me a strikeout. That'll do just fine. Hoskins has 37 speed. He will not leg this out. Good scoop by Freeman. And we're on to the ninth. All right, can we get this thing over with in nine innings? Top of the ninth, here's Ozzy Albies. Guessing we might get something good here, 2-0. Please the fastball. Oh, man. I gotta catch up, man. That's 95. I should handle that. There we go. Come on. How far is that one going? Albies, deep right. It's gone. Solo home run. Finally caught up to one of those. And there's the first run here in March to October. A nice looking solo home run to right field in Philly over Bryce Harper's head too. Like the celebration continuing into the dugout. The Braves got some young stars and if they're to continue building upon last year's 90 win season, I think it's got to be with more good play out of Acuna and Albies. There we go. There we go. Once I adjust, I can usually start getting on a roll. I don't have much time, though, so can I get, like, one more run? Let's go with Dansby Swanson now off the bench. 25-year-old. I know that a lot of Braves fans were excited about him. What kind of a year did he put together last year? I feel like it wasn't as good as Braves fans were hoping to this point. Yeah, 238. 
Well, as a Twins fan, I know what it's like to have players that you're hopeful for not produce as early as you would like, but the Braves got obviously some other players that are picking up the slack. More than that. And we walk on five pitches. Pretty easy at bat. These Philadelphia relievers have really not had good control of their fastball at all. I'm better at laying off those bad fastballs than I am those bad sliders. Like that one. That would normally get me. Still nobody out, by the way. A home run, a single, and now a walk. Oh, that is going to get down in left field. We will not send Flowers. They're loaded up with nobody down. Loaded up for Nick Markakis. We got to get at least one more, hopefully at least two. That is over to first base. Out at home. That was about as bad as it could have gone right there. Well, I guess if we lose this game, I'll have a lot of missed opportunities to look back upon. Here's Freddie Freeman. We know he has some power. Oh, I must have been just a bit late on that. It will not fall in. So a one nothing lead going bottom nine. And I did have my bullpen uh, warmed up here with the closer. Daniel Winkler. All right, we had... Uh, a 3-4-3 last year, 60 innings, only two saves, so kind of a new role for him. And having to close on opening day here on the road in Philly with a one-run lead against JT Real Muto. All right, let's get it going. This cutter, I like pitching with the cutter. Catcher's telling me fastball up. Could be a bad idea. And that is going to deep left field, hooking, and we're catching up to it. Did he go around on that? He did. Strike one on the cutter. And lifted to center. Shouldn't be much of an issue here. Two down. And we'll try to win it against the Double Herrera. Already got one hit. And the catcher wants me to go with the cutter. All right, we're going to go to this one blue zone for him then. Cutter away. Ended up down the middle. Okay. That is up the middle and through. The Phillies got their base runner aboard. So now the game-winning run at the plate. And I'm guessing it's going to be someone pretty good. Who's after Herrera? I'm trying to think. It's going to be Michael Franco. Okay. Wasn't who I thought it was going to be. All right. Come on. Oh, I need that call. 61 contact, 64 power. By the way, if you don't know how to bring this menu up, it's left on the D-pad before you uh, start with any inputs here. If you're hitting and the uh, opposing pitcher's already getting ready, it's going to be too late to see the ratings as well. Nice to just see what kind of speed's on base, what kind of... Well, this doesn't really show speed on base. That would be useful, but you got it there in the left window. Anyway. Struck. Oh, that was only strike two. Could have been strike three if we got that call the first time up. All right. Curveball with two strikes. No. I wonder if the catchers block better in this game because I didn't even trust going curveball in the dirt if a runner was aboard because they were so poor at blocking. All right. It's full. Runner's going to go. We need this. The catcher wants us to play it safe. Go with the heat. Fastball. Hit to right. We're going to have some drama. Did we get him out still? No. You could do that back in like the old, uh, I don't know, MLB. What game would it have been that I could do that in? MLB 2002? Drew Butera. Doesn't he play catcher? They bring uh, their backup catcher off the bench in this situation? What kind of ratings we got these days? 55, 45? All right, just can't allow a hit. Not an easy ninth inning. There we go, 0 and 2. What kind of do we have a slider here with him? We do not. I can try the cutter away. I really want this curveball to win the game for us. There we go! Strike three, and the Braves win on opening day. That was a lot of action for a game that resulted in just one run. 
So there are the game results. We got the shutout, which gives us like an extra points here. Opening day win, momentum sparked. So I'm guessing the better you play, the more momentum you get and the more wins you're likely to get in your simming. I don't think it plays out, you know, the same whether you win or lose, you know. If you were to play this, I don't think that necessarily you get the same results for your simulating. But, um, no, oh, I'm leveling up. I don't play Diamond Dynasty, though. That's nice. Key moment. Got the opening day victory. Success. Infuse that momentum. And now what's our next key moment? We win. And then... Mount a rally to steal a win. Oh. Are we going right into game two? All right. Well, the first time I saw this in a video, it simulated the next six games. And they were all of a sudden 7-0. and oh. So, no, we're getting a critical situation here in game two. Down by one, trying to make it a 2-0 and oh start to the year. Mount a rally to steal a win. I like the sound of that. I got Freddie Freeman up. I know that. And that's the longest hold X to skip I've ever seen in a video game. Or three ball game today. One on, nobody out for Freddie Freeman. I should not swing at that. Oh, man. Thought that was a good pitch to rip right there. Slightly early on the 92 mile per hour cutter. All right, Freeman. Big two and two pitch here. Oh, he hung it up. I'm not sure that's going to have enough. Freeman to deep left, center, one away. Donaldson, okay. Can Josh Donaldson get his first big hit as a member of the Braves? The pitcher's loving this knuckle curve, by the way. He's got to be careful with it. Donaldson to right. Please get to the seats. It will not. Two down. Well, I like who I have up. Ronald Acuna Jr., Oh, I like that pitch. That's strike one. Ooh, slider away on that. Down to my last strike here. To keep the game going. Acuna. Oh, man. He got me again. Not laying off much of those. I got the first win at least. Failed the amount of comeback. So now I lost some momentum, I guess. But hey, I got like four fires in the victory. Looks like in this game, Harper got his first Phillies home run too. And okay, so what's next? We failed that one. And our momentum goes a little bit down, but it's still, it's still on fire. We still got some heat there. We lose the next game. We win against the Cubs. We lose. We win. We're trading. And then against the Marlins. We should win these games. We should do pretty well against them. Looks like now we'll get a key moment. Thrill home fans with a series sweep. Well, if you guys want to see more of this here on the second channel, let me know and I can continue playing this March to October. This is pretty cool. I like this. It's not exactly, you know, franchise mode, but there's still franchise if you want the deep experience, and I'll be doing that on my main channel. But for here, if I want something more condensed and faster, this is perfect. So based on your season progress, you're able to see your projected wins and what it's going to take most likely to become a wildcard team or division champs. And just like that, you know, we're 5-3. and three. We've made some serious progress here in less than 45 minutes of real time for me. And can I check out, like, stats and stuff while we're at it? Yes, it's a little confusing here. You just have to go to this tab, and this controls everything. But this is your entire screen. There's no other menus. It's whatever is listed here. You can change difficulty. I will not be. Looks like you can edit your uh, lineup. I wasn't sure as far as uh, roster customization what you could do. I'm imagining, though, that you can't handle, like, signing players. And I wonder if they disabled injuries in here to make it easier. Overall, I'm not too sure. But I still think that if you're looking for a more condensed, faster version of this, that uh, it's worth checking out. Already five home runs for Freddie Freeman. That's pretty awesome. Albies has three. Acuna has two. Hitting a lot of long balls in our first eight games. I like seeing that. So if you want to see more of this, everybody, let me know down below in the comment section. Be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. 
and I will see you again soon. Have a great day.